All right, first of all, I want to test and make sure y'all can hear me. Oh, my camera slid. Darn it. Oh, I didn't know this ready either. Well, you know, I'm new. It happens. Can anybody hear me? Just tell me. What is this thing doing? Oh, I see my own live. Hey, hey, Nick. Hi, Jen. I guess I can search my name. Can you guys hear me? Okay, you can't hear me. Okay. All right. Okay, can y'all hear me now? Oh, good. I might might not be able to hear me when I get back over there, so I apologize. All right, let me fix my camera. <clears throat> Thank you for bearing, oh, my camera keeps sliding. You sorry, dog. Tell you. Uh, let me go get another rubber band. Hold on. <laughs> oh, Layla, will you let Corona out? This is going to be like the worst live ever. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, here I go. Yeah, okay. I will try to talk louder. Hopefully y'all can see everything. All right, don't move, camera. I'm sweating my butt off. Is that normal? Okay, I gotta put, I gotta get y'all on my iPad so I can see your comments because I can't see that far away. I'm blind as a bat. Actually, bats Oh, okay. Here we go. I found myself. All right. I'm gonna get. Oh, Allison. Okay, all right, I see you guys down here. I'm a little delayed, so that's weird. I'm sweating. I'm sweating like crazy. <laughs> oh, it's hot. Hi, Melvin. Hi, Jim. Doug and Jen. Can you guys hear me okay? I'm going to try to speak loud, but... Wait a few minutes. Hey, Cortland. Terry. Oh, I can't even see this. Brian, thank you for coming in, y'all. And I'm quite nervous, so go easy on me. Hey, James. Oh, my husband's walking around with a face covering because he doesn't want anybody seeing him. <laughs> okay, you do hear me good. Good. I do have, I did have Bluetooth earphones in when I, we first started, but for some reason it won't use the audio for my earbuds. I'm not sure why. At least you're... Well, that was a pretty, you know, hey, Jen, don't don't cut yourself down. You you did good. I watched it. Hey, North, Nick. North Dakota. The little little little. Can't even talk. So I appreciate y'all being patient to take a little bit because being this was kind of like a last minute thing, I wasn't sure if I was gonna get this uh, shaped and ready to go before I wanted to paint pour. And then I was like, you know, wouldn't it be cool? I did a live of this paint pour because, you know, it's kind of something that you can do live without taking forever in the day because I'm the most impatient person I know. And if it does start taking too long, I'm just gonna be like, all right, y'all, I'm eating dinner because my husband's cooking right now, so. 
Hi, Bobby. I'm, I'm not going to say that name because I can't pronounce it. 845 watching your life. <laughs> yeah, thanks. My pits are sweating enough as it is. I appreciate that. <laughs> All right, Ruba, yeah. North Carolina. So I am going to paint. I don't know if you guys watch paint pours, but I'm like addicted to watching them. Well, sometimes. Um, because you get like random results. It's kind of like wood, wood turning. You know, sometimes you don't, you plan things and then it decides to do something else. So it's kind of like uh, nice because you can just like dump a bunch of paint on something and then just it moves and it does what it's going to do. Well, I would say compare it to resin. Yeah. Anyways. <clears throat> so um, if you watch paint pouring, uh, acrylic paint pouring, um, there's so far only one gentleman and I can't remember his name. It would be nice if I prepared for this before I came on here. Uh, he does paint pours over um, like urns and hollow forms and things like that too. And he doesn't post a lot, uh, but whatever he has posted up 10 times each. So, um, hi everybody. Hi Jody. Hi Anthony. Mountain Heart. Graham. Hi. And Satire997, howdy. Sids. Hey, Sid. What? Oh, yeah. Well, I'm not going to start. My daughter's over here pointing at my GoPro like, hurry up and start it. Well, I'm not going to start it yet because that's for the video that's going to be not this coming week, next week. And everything's going to be done. So, anyways, I watch his paint pours. And if you guys know who he is, feel free to put... Um, I don't know how to make anybody... A, hold on, before I start, uh, add moderator. All right, I'm going to add Doug as a moderator, and I'm going to add Jen, because she's good at kicking some butt, and so is Doug when it comes to rude people commenting and stuff. So I appreciate you guys so very much. Um, and you don't, you don't have to moderate if you don't want to, but, you know, it helps, helps me out, because I'm going to be busy. So, yeah. So anyways, he does paint pours, and they always turn out awesome. What I plan to do after I pour this is, of course, let it completely dry, and then I'm going to put a few clear uh, coats of resin on it. Um, so before I start painting it, I'll let you know what I did. I uh, took two bowl blanks, Magnolia bowl blanks. They're pretty much dry, and I think they were fr probably from the same log. And what I did is I just... They were bowls. They were uh, rough cut bowls, about three quarter inch thick. And all I did was kind of, uh, you know, get them squared away as far as they, um, where they would come together. Full of all I can't talk. And that's why I do voiceovers because this is no good for me. Um, <laughs> so I glued them together with some facet resin. And I didn't hollow out the insides of them much um, because I wanted to be able to work, you know, have some more working room on the outside glued them together, and then just shaped it from there. So these are two bowls. It's kind of like a cheater hollow form. I didn't cut the hole in my top yet because I have a piece of resin that I casted some wood, and I'm going to do like a little neat lip, so I can't do that yet anyway. But I wanted to keep it all closed so when the paint came down over top of it, that it wouldn't fill up. So it was kind of convenient to do it that way. I have this cup sitting here because... Well, you'll see. When I start to pour my colors in here, I'm just going to lift the cup up, you know, and then, you know, do, I don't know. This is my first time ever doing a paint pour on a hollow form. Um, me and my kids did a paint pour on a little bowl, just a really small bowl. So I've never done anything that's like all paint. Um, speaking of paint, so I'll take a moment to... I'm gonna go through the comments. All right, I'm sweating like crazy. Um, Arteza, Arteza was kind enough to send me some acrylic paints. These are specifically made for paint pours. It is pouring acrylic. 
So you don't have to get that flow troll that they have to add in the colors in order to get them to like run. You know, they're thin enough. Now these, um, these are their iridescent colors. They are not thin, but I am going to add them anyway. I'm going to process. It's going to weigh down the paint and maybe, I don't know. I don't know what it's going to do. That's just my good friend. <laughs> so first off, I need a surface that's going to be nice. Nice and smooth. I just sanded this to like 220 because I wanted something for the paint to stick to. So I'm going to go ahead and start painting it black solid right now. And as people start to come in, you know, the kind of gift that I'm just, you know, painting something black. I'm sorry again for the last minute, but I truly appreciate all y'all who've decided to come in and, and check this out. I'm quite nervous, so I appreciate your patience. So this is just the black. I want to kind of do, my idea is, I want to kind of do like a galaxy, you know, themed kind of deal. Um, so that's why I'm starting with black. You could pretty much color it whatever base color you want, at least from what I have seen other people do or this one gentleman do. He just, oh, and I'm probably not going to wear gloves even though I put some out here because I'm stupid like that and I always forget to put my gloves on. And I don't think I have to wait for this to dry. You don't look nervous. I am. My armpits are like so sweaty. I know you guys don't really need to know that, but um, that's just kind of I'm a TMI person. <laughs> my armpits get sweaty when I'm nervous. And this is just magnolia wood, and I know that, like, a lot of you may have never turned it before, but it's not, it's not the prettiest color, so I, that's why I chose this, because it really doesn't matter if I color it. Oh, I did leave it on the chuck, because I don't, when I go to make my hole, I obviously don't want it to be off-center, so I just taped it up with some painter's tape. If it gets glue, or if it gets paint on it, it literally wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, considering I get everything on my chucks, but chuck. like do as I do, do as I say. <laughs> I'm sure we've all heard that as a kid. It does turn like butter, Cortland. It is very nice. And when it's wet, like someone had made a comment in my last one that they loved the smell of it. Well, I don't know if they, if they turned it wet before. And excuse me for saying this word, but it smells like dirty, nasty, backwoods marijuana. <laughs> it, it does. It, when you turn it wet, it just smells like bad pot. Um, I wouldn't know how bad smot, pot smells, so um, don't take my word for it. <laughs> but it does. It does. It stinks, smells, smells like stank weed. Um, when it's dry, it doesn't smell, but it does turn like butter, especially when it's wet. It's really nice. You can get a really nice finish on it. It's easy to cut. Sorry, I didn't mean to get... I don't know, Doug. Like I said, I would not know. I would not know anything about stinkweed. We'll just like say it's stinkweed like as in the weeds, you know? Weeds. What did you pick out of your garden? Thanks everybody for coming in. I'm just painting this black and it looks like it's doing really good. I thought I was going to have to put two coats on it, but I don't think, I don't think I'm going to have to. Of course, I overbrush everything, so I just want to make sure every nook and cranny. I was trying to find a Lazy Susan last minute and I don't have one, which would have been a whole lot easier. But that's just me. I'm always underprepared for stuff. I think it's because I like the challenge of trying to fix all the mistakes I make when I could have just done it properly in the first place. Oh, um, paper towels. Hold on a second. All right, so this part I probably will put gloves because I'm going to need to assist. I probably will need to assist the paint. Thanks, Dave. My assistant, my off-camera assistant. 
and T. All right, so my idea is galaxy colors. I'm going to have y'all help me on what colors y'all would consider to be like galaxy colors. Now I have 32 plus another 10, so 42. 42 colors. Let me get them all out here real quick. Oh, don't, don't touch it. Don't touch it. <laughs> y'all get to see me acting like a dork live instead of me editing it all out. Yeah, I love a good challenge too. Some days I set myself up for more than what I can handle. Uh, let me read through the comments, still stinking. <laughs> um, so I put some colors on this side of the box. Uh, let's see, you guys won't be able to see them if I don't put them on something. We have purple, which I definitely think is a, it's called ultramarine purple. I think it's definitely a galaxy color. What do you guys think? Yes. Yes, definitely. I don't want to take too, too long, but I also want to, like, allow some people time to come in. So, Teal, I'm going to get started. Oh, she has no idea what she did. She has no idea. She, what did I do? What did I do? Now you're making me really nervous. My nose is starting to run. Okay, I don't know what I did. What did I, oh, I didn't start, oh, I didn't start my camera. Oh, well, you know, my GoPro for my actual video. Get out of here, fly. All right, well, they're just going to... Sorry, y'all, if you... See, I'll just, you know, whatever. I'll figure it out. All right, white. Pink. Some more purple. Some more blue. Definitely some more black. Oh, I have to go through and open all these first. Damn it, blab it. Ugh. Maybe green. Do you think green would look good with Galaxy? Galaxy colors seen from humble pics can be anything. Okay, well then we'll just. Oh, absolutely, ocean colors, Jen. That's like always. It's hard for me to get away from that. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, back in the '90s, I think it was hot pink used to be really popular, and I like wore everything hot pink. It was nauseating. So when I get addicted to something, it's like that's it. All right, should I put any bronze, gold, or bright yellow in there? Like, yellow like that. It's hard, my thing's delayed. <clears throat> oh, it looks green, not black. It could be because of the lighting. It's black, though. I promise. I wouldn't lie to you. Um, okay. I'm just going to go with these. What do you think? That might not be. That might be enough. Yeah, my daughter gave me a thumbs up. She said yes. We're going with these. All right, let's see. So, again, Arteza, I will. I don't have the link. I didn't, like, a last minute did this. So, um, there is a link that you can use through my link, which helps me out. And I will post that afterwards if you guys aren't like wanting to shop right this minute. They also have mica powders too, um, which I did not get any of those. Let's see, we'll do, we'll do a yellow in that iridescent. That would be cool. Let's see, well, let's see, I'd like to do, I'm going to, I'm actually going to mix the iridescent colors with a little bit of soapy water because I was supposed to get my I was supposed to get my um, silicone in the mail today and I didn't and silicone causes oh my nose is running the silicone causes the cells that you see in paint pores which is really really cool um, unfortunately it didn't come in today and I don't have any liquid silicone. I don't have any or any liquid silicone. So I'm going to try to use Dawn dish soap and water because it will help. Let me start mixing those because that's like the boring part. And y'all can chitty chat while I do that. That will help create some cells, hopefully. You want to help mix, Layla? Mm -hmm. All right, but you can't be on camera because YouTube is... Are not nice. 
I'll put them in here and then you can mix them over there. Does that sound good? Sure. All right. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put quite a bit of paint because it's gotta move. You know what I'm saying? It's gotta move. So right now I'm just make, I'm putting water and Dawn dish soap. I'm trying to be informative at the same time, pay attention to what I'm doing. Water and Dawn dish soap mixed together in my iridescent ones because they are thicker. And hopefully that will help create the cells. If it doesn't, you know, it doesn't. It, it's, it's my first time. I'm not expecting it to be the most glamorous thing on the planet. Oh, what did I do with my paint sticks? Jen, what did I do with my paint sticks? You were on the phone. Oh, there they are. Thanks, Jen. That girl always, man, she help you out. She'll help you out. Heartbeat. Here. Hey, blue line. Oh, I got your, speaking of. Here, I'll mix one on here. I am using tongue oil on your giveaway. Hey, you guys go follow Blue Line. And I turned a piece for it, which will be a video up this week. If I, I'm using tongue oils, at home, and y'all know me, I don't do well with I don't do well with finishes that take forever. And fortunately, I have to do 50 million coats. Yeah, it could be a train wreck, I and mean, we're doing it live. Fantastic. Here, baby, let me put some more paint in there. Sit, do over. Yeah. Sorry. I think it's a. Oh, that's the wrong one. Whoops. <laughs> It'll thicken it up, though. It'll be fine. Yeah, I'm, I think it will. Anyways, it's, so it's take. It's like third coat. Oh. Takes 24 hours, so I'm sorry. It's gonna be a little lit. All right, like I said, I'm just mixing up the iridescent colors in soapy water, so hopefully they'll create the cells. And I kind of mixed them a little thin, but it'll it'll be fine. It might be a train wreck, but you know, like Bob Ross says, what does Bob Ross say? Um, happy little trees. Yeah, happy little trees. <laughs> um, happy little. Um, oh, happy little mistakes, right? Yes. They're not mistakes. They're just trees. We're making trees in the form of paint pores. <laughs> Just kidding. <clears throat> is it pausing? I'm sorry. I don't think my internet connection's icky. Is everything, is it? I am a mad woman. <clears throat> I am looking forward to seeing it too. Oh yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing the chalk bowl. Yeah, it would help if I read. Happy little accidents, yeah. Yes, thank you. It's buffering, glitching. Okay, let me, let me, let me check my internet connection on here. I told you guys, it's, you know, there, you can see a good close-up of my face. Of my face. Oh, okay. I probably stalled out for a minute, sorry. <laughs> All right, I changed my internet. Instead of my outside extender, I did my main one. Move along now, yes, Doug, yes, yes, sir. Okay, so it's black, where's my cup? All right, so here's my cup. Hopefully I can get enough paint put in there, uh, including all the sound effects. The disappearing turn. Yeah, let me get these lids off. I don't know what order I'm going to do them in. I should have got these lids off beforehand, but you know, life. Um, yeah, shop here does not care. In the house either. And ooh, it smells good in here. My husband's making chicken. Oh, oh, just swinging all over the place. <laughs> Yeah. These have like plastic seals, which is great so your paint don't dry up, but when you're in a hurry to open them, not so much. That one's already opened. Shop here and out here. My husband made me a coffee cup with that on it, which was so sweet. Alright, 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 alright. This 
could be a total not galaxy. But, whatever. It'll be what it is, because that's what it's going to be. Oh, okay. Refresh. Oh, okay. Those stacking thick paint release in all my... Yes, I'm going to stack the paint. Hopefully it doesn't leak out, so I don't put anything in there to, like, kind of keep it sealed up for the moment. Um, I'm just going to, like, try to hold my hand down on the cup. I cut the I bottom off the cup, the so that way when I do this, it will flow out in like a pattern, I guess. I'm using a knife in a hurry, so pray I don't cut my finger off. Yeah, yeah, so I'm, you know, I'm just, I'm just going to do it. I'm probably going to use every last bit of these because from what I understand you have to have a lot of paint. So what I did is I put a um, spaghetti sauce jar, like any brand I guess. There, the opening of that fits perfectly on the Nova Chucks, like in the inside so it doesn't slide this way and this way and then I just filled it full of sand so it weighted it down. I have silicone, well you might know, yeah let me move that away. I have a silicone cake pan that I use for casting resin in down there and then another pan just in case, you know, I get crazy with it and then it goes everywhere. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, I'm just going to like start, I'm going to start pouring. I'm going to put black in first. <coughs> Excuse me. Did you get my mix? Oh, thank you, babe. I won't need yellow, because I have yellow. Da -da -da -da. Put the cap back on that one, because I'm going to be using that one. We'll use this one. This one. All right. Um, let me do black first. Yeah, I don't know what the plan is either. It's, um, you know, dumping stuff and hoping for the best. I think that's what the plan is. So I'm just going to hold the cup, like down so the paint oh you guys can see okay good so the paint doesn't slip out too soon so first black let's do of course you know i'm just going here let me put these in order i poured them so i can go back i got some silver here some pink oh it's starting to leak out that's okay i better hurry pink Purple, put some green, because you know, you ain't got a galaxy unless you got something green, like aliens, Doug's favorite thing. <laughs> uh, blue, ooh, it's starting to leak. Hurry up, Kim, hurry up. Quit your talking, pour some paint. Green. Some pink. Oh, I stopped putting them in order. Lord help me. Okay, and now some purple iridescent with some soap. I'll just dump all that in. I'm just gonna dump all that. Whoa. All this in. And then the yellow. Oh, it's already starting to run. That's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I got it under control. Oh, it's going. It's that stuff I added water to. It was too thin. Oh, this is going to be fun. Let me add some green. I should have got something with glitter. Oh, you guys can't see it on my side. It's really running down on my side. Boop -a doo Some blue. <laughs> Are you guys having to tell Kim about the aliens? Whatever. All right, I'm gonna lift it and then push it back down. Oh, it's starting to have cells already. Oh, here it comes. You know, I, did, I didn't check to make sure my surface was level. Oh, I might need more paint. Let me keep pouring. Oh, it 
kind of looks 80s. This stuff is real liquidy. Like, it's already poor. Like, really, I'm going to put some more black. Uh, where's my yellow? Okay. I'm going to lean it a little bit to try to get it to come down. I can't see. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Yeah. All right, come on. Oh, shush, Corona. That's my dog. And yes, his name is Corona. Right? What a time to be alive. Um, I'm twisting the cup a little bit because I'm seeing colors coming out on one side that aren't the other. And then as soon as this, I get it all, like all the paint out of the cup, I'll grab the camera and try to get you guys closer. Gotta have enough to where I can, you know, get it all down. You know? Well, not really, besides it's not going on. going. It's doing its thing. I'm going to try to turn, I'm going to get paint all over me, but I'm going to turn it so y'all can see. Yeah, rip it off like a band-aid. <laughs> May the force be, look, it did have some cells. That's cool. And it is, it is covering really well on the bottom side, which I thought I was going to have to kind of like pull with it a little bit. I don't know, it's not as colorful as I was hoping. It's a little darker, but maybe that will change once all of this moves. Oh yeah, it's doing good. Just gotta paint the bottom side of it. Or, yeah, get the paint. Ooh, I touched it. Quit, quit touching it. Ooh, this thing is full of paint. Hey, I'll let that dry really good. Maybe I can turn it. There's a lot of pink on that side in there. Ooh, it smells like paint. This is really cool. Like, it has some really interesting stuff going on. And you know, I figured you like worst work comes to worst. I don't like that. I'll just do another pour right over top of it, right? I'm gonna grab the phone because obviously y'all ain't gonna. I'm not sticking around for it to dry, um, and it's not moving too much. So maybe it'll stay similar to what is already doing. Ow! Hey, my cup was in there. All right, I'm gonna grab my phone. <laughs> I need to flip my camera around. Hold on. Oh, I don't know if I can. Yeah, I can. Oops, sorry, that's my youngin. <laughs> All right, let me let me do this. Look, she's Missy. She's like, is it food time? All right. Oh, I don't have my gloves on anymore. That's okay. Does look very cool. And it will be one of a kind. That's what's great. <laughs> Just poor colors. Listen to her. She sounds like a little pig. Ready to eat. Look at that. Isn't that neat looking right there? Look at 
the silver. I'm trying to give you all a pretty good idea of what's going on with it. And down at the bottom, look, there's white streaking down there. And when I turned this, I turned it extra inwards. So when I clean up the bottom, after all the paint kind of like, you know, gets done doing its dripping thing, that it'll just be wood. And then I'm gonna cover it all. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I mean, look at that, look at, what is she doing, messing with the cat? That pink took like, I said 80s and it was like, okay, 80s. <laughs> it was like Google when you talk to it. Oh, now that my hand is gooey. Yeah, I like the randomness too. I guess that's what's freeing about it is that I mean, I know some people like to have control over certain things, and I'm a control freak, ask my husband. Um, <laughs> and so not having to have control over this is is kind of freeing. Yeah, it's just going to keep getting better because it all the, co all the color. Hey, hello. Uh-oh, is that Chloe? Oh, nice. Um... <laughs> Because all those colors that are in the top are still going to slowly but surely, you know, roll down in. <laughs> Thank you, Tim. I appreciate that. All right, let me get my camera back up here. And then I guess I'll do like a Q&A really quick before we go. If you guys are interested in sticking around, I can answer your questions. If you have any, I'm obviously not a professional at this, so I don't know how much information I could give other than, you know, what I just did. All right. And all that good stuff. Yeah, it does look like a strange planet. And you guys, I mean, there's a lot of glare because of my light here. Let me turn this off. Well, I don't know. It kind of just gets dark. Look at my husband. <laughs> He's so funny. Okay, so. Yes, I appreciate you giving me thumbs up. Oh, 82 watching. Oh, gosh. Uh, la, 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 let's see who's the masked man. <laughs> he needs to do a sing along. Yeah, I don't think. I don't think we'll be getting him to do that anytime soon. What? <clears throat> a sing along. No. No. He said no. You probably heard him. Um, all right. So um, I'm going to finish when it's dry. I'm going to put it back on the lathe. I kept tenons on the top and the bottom. And I'm going to uh, first, I'm going to put, um, I turned a piece of wood and resin about the size I need. First, I'm going to put like a little mouth on it that's a wooden resin. And then, um, it's already casted. I may change my mind if it's not like the right coloring or whatever. Then, I will use uh, Total Boats 2 to 1 Slow Set uh, for a finish um, to give it even more depth. But I know this takes like a few days to dry, so that's okay. This video won't be back. This won't be up, this won't be back. This video will not be out, and not this Thursday, but next Thursday. At least that's the plan, if everything goes well. Um, I'm kind of obligated to it now, because y'all done seeing me do it live. So, yes, total about two to one resin. Um, I did not water down, Arteza makes, I did not water down the paint, Arteza makes a pouring acrylic. Um, paint. So it is specifically designed. It's loose. It's, it's really thin. The only one I watered down was their iridescent colors, which are these here. Um, comes with 10 iridescents. So it's kind of like the resin um, iridescent colors. They're beautiful, but they're thicker. And what I was afraid of is they would be too weighted and it would cause like clumps, which I did see some clumps go 
but um, that's okay. They are not stuck on there anymore. So I did not water down the colors. They are they are specifically designed for pouring. And it's again by Arteza. And after this video is over with, I will put the links um, for you to go check their website out. It, they sell in the UK and in the United States. And that link specifically shows them that, hey, people seen me use it, and you guys know how that works. So please utilize the links. If you don't, that's okay. I still love you. Um, yeah. Well, let's see. I did not want to paint. I'm going to use a resin. hope that wasn't any gold. Oh, heck no. I would never, I would never coat paint on a maple burl. I mean, it, I mean, some burls look really good with dye, like iridescent dye, but I, I couldn't. This was magnolia. For you guys that came in, guys and gals that came in later, it is, sorry, that's a cat. She's starving to death, apparently. Um, <laughs> it is, what did I say? Oh, magnolia. It's magnolia. I turned... I got it in March and I rough turned two bowls and I kind of made a cheater hollow form. <laughs> oh my gosh, I would love to travel around and, and go to people's shops. There are so many people out there that don't have YouTube channels that are just amazing, way, way better than I could ever dream of being, let alone being. Uh, those are... I don't know what a Dutch pour is. I'm sure a lot of people, most of you probably know more about pouring paint than I do. Um, I don't know what the Dutch pour is. <laughs> yes, I am a control freak. I do need to definitely let it dry. That's kind of why I did it in the house because um, we have, you know, pterodactyl sized mosquitoes here in Florida and every bug and their brother, cousin and anything else on that level of bug, comes out and lands on my stuff while it's curing. So that is another reason why I'm in the house. So I could have used Amsterdam white, 10% water, and could have gotten more cells produced. I know, what a shame. I wish that silicone would have come in. I was really worried. I did water down some of the, the iridescent colors with um, dish soap. And I did start seeing cells because of it, but of course, you know, they kind of go away. And since there wasn't a lot of it, you know, too bad. I still have paint left over, so I still got, like, I don't know, half of these colors left over so maybe I'll do another live and after I get my silicone <laughs> I'm far from a turning master that is for sure um dropping my stuff everywhere but I, I appreciate that in such kind words you can make a net cover to protect your work yes I the thing of it is is that's Making those things always takes time, and so I get up to the shop and I tell myself, okay, i got to make something to cover this, and then there's a chunk of wood calling my name to turn it, and I'm like, oh, I'll make that later, and then that chunk of wood happens to be a chunk of wood that I want to put resin on as a coating. So that's how that works for me, is if I have to make something to do something, I'm like... <laughs> Because I just want to go out there and turn and being most of the time I only turn on the weekends and then do whatever finishes to the piece during the week because of, you know, I homeschool the kids and then, um, you know, cook dinner and then after I cook dinner then I have a little bit of time to edit or do finishing stuff. So my time is limited. Thank you, Jen. I appreciate that. Thank you, Ken. Oh, well, there's a million people out there that are so much better at me than turning. We'll get there. You know, just keep practicing and keep shooting for the stars because, I mean, that's what I did. I just practiced, practiced, practiced. I was determined to get it, and um, the practice paid off, and there's still a lot of things that I need to practice doing. So, 
magic sell for about ten dollars. The trick is once you grab dries my staff baby powder. Oh, okay. Say so I put baby powder on floor. Well this from what I was watching, now I don't know how that silicone is gonna react to create the cells. From what I was watching, you can use um, it's a lubricant for treadmill. It's treadmill lubricant and it's 100% liquid silicone. And you only have to put like one or two drops. Missy, sorry, it's my dog. One or two drops. Come over here now. <laughs> sorry, my bulldozer decided to move my camera. You only have to put one or two drops of that liquid silicone in like a cup like this, or maybe even bigger, and it creates those cells and I'm not sure, my only concern is um, when I go to put my resin finish on it, that the resin doesn't want to separate over that silicone area. So I guess that's a test in itself. That's why I would have liked to have had, you're very welcome. I would have liked to have had the silicone now, so that way, you know, this video I can show you, hey, the resin stuck to it or not, before I go and tell you guys to use it and it and it not work if you're going to put a resin coating on it. So this is all definitely, um, <laughs> thanks, Ken, I didn't know that. I'll let you all read that. I'm not going to say that. But yeah, I guess, uh, I guess you could use that. Thank you, everybody. Hey, Eric. That's my brother right there. Um, yeah, if any of y'all have any more questions about what I did or even something else, um, yeah, don't put your light below, don't put your light below the bowl, don't put your light below the bowl, I don't know, are you talking about like my light that I have like right now, because it's up. So I don't know. I'm blonde. You guys got to help me out. Each color of the resin, once it dries, use baby powder to absorb the oil. So I read that, but I, I'm not sure. Like, I'm not sure. Oh, once it dries. Okay, that's what it means. Okay, so let's see. If you could pass one tip on to everyone, what would that tip be and why? Oh, my goodness. Um... Okay, that's a good one, kind of, because I, I have an answer, but I could think about, about an answer later on and then change my answer. There's flies, follow me in hell. So if I had a tip for one tip, I would say don't think that seeing all these makes you a good turner. It makes you broke and still not knowing what to do. Um, so yeah. Learn with what you have, make the best of what you have, and learn to do the best with what you have before you start going out and buying crazy tools, because those tools aren't going to make you a better turner. Um, what makes you a better turner is practice. Like everything else, like building muscles or reading books, you know, by doing those things is what makes you better at it. And take it from me, I am the least patient person I know, and my husband, if he would come on camera, he would give you a good explanation on why that is the truth. Um, just practice, 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 and please find joy in the process of screwing up because we learn more in our mistakes than we do our victories. That is just the God's honest truth, and have joy and learning and, and the learning process because otherwise you're going to beat yourself up and you're going to put yourself in a play out and do it or you're really hesitant and and just going out there and saying I'm you know what happens happens I'm going to take whatever happens and I'm just going to chalk it up to a learning experience and I will do better next time and take all the things that you did wrong from that project and turn it into you know what not to do for your next um, I work and still do <laughs> work out of my what not to do's than I do my do's because I, I experiment and explore in multiple places and turnings and I'm always constantly pushing myself to do things that I haven't done before or try new stuff. So I'm always learning out of what the not to do's. But we are 
that's how we are. We, we learn more from our mistakes than we do our victories. So find joy in the process. Don't buy a million tools. They're not going to make you a better turner. Practice is what's going to make you a better turner. Doing, you know, crazy stuff like this is what's going to get you to, you know, getting better um, at anything and everything. That's that's just the way it is. Um, and, you know, I, I just found time. I would turn when I was done, you know, homeschooling kids and cooking dinner, and I'd go out there late at night, and sometimes I'd stay out there at 2, 2 3 o'clock in the morning and just turn, you know, and I would come in and show my husband stuff and say, this is crap, and he would roll his eyes at me like always, and, <laughs> and so that's, that's what got me, um, just find, find joy in the process. Yes, we practice everything, pick, pick one thing, like pick, all right, so say you want to get better at your roughing gouge, you know, Obviously, you can't just use a roughing gouge for everything you want to do, but practice your roughing gouge. Just get a bunch of pieces and round them all out, you know, at once, and practice your roughing gouge, and then practice your bowl gouge. Practice your skew. I'm not very good at the skew because I just, I kind of was like, eh, I can do everything with my bowl gouge. So I have to go back, well, I wouldn't say go back, I have to push myself to um, use my skew because I just, I didn't ever have an interest in using it. I just found use in my bowl gouge and I do everything with it. So it's like one of those one-stop shop tools. You know, like my bowl gouge, if I had one tool to choose from, did I put paint on my nose? <laughs> if I put, had one um, tool to use that be stuck on an island with, it would definitely be my Irish grind bowl gouge. I mean, I could, I learned to do everything with it and that came from not being able to afford tools. Um, so, you know, it kind of is great whenever you're a broke turner because then you can just buy a tool and you do, you just do everything with it. And it makes, you know. So, yeah. Anyways, <clears throat> let's see. You're welcome. Thank you so much for coming in. I know, I can chat forever, so I apologize. I'm just trying to... Hi, Richard! I am live! Oh my god! I watch Rich Live all the time, so it's like, oh. uh, let's see. So, true practice and mistakes makes you a better turner. Absolutely. Um, my my victories didn't make me a better turner. If I if if it was my victories, then I would have one or two of those, and then I would still be doing those things only because, you know, and even then it probably was an accident. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Jen. Uh, let's see. It'll be too late in Australia, though. What do you use to sharpen your woodworking tools? I use a, what is it? A delta? Is it a delta? Variable speed grinder. You must have a variable speed, especially if you're going to use stones because it gets really hot. So it does make a difference on how your tools keep an edge. I, but I use a delta 8 inch variable speed grinder, and I have two CBN wheels, which are those diamond plated wheels. Uh, one is an 80 grit and a 220. Um, 80 because I'm always reshaping like my scrapers, especially my negative rake scrapers because I, I make my negative rake scraper so it was necessary for me to have an 80 grit. You could just do your own research and find out what grits are best. I, I asked a ton of people and I had so many darn different variations of what was best uh, that I just as you know I'm just going to split the difference and do the 220. You can go up a 600, I think it is. Um, yes, and the Wolverine sharpening system. I use the Wolverine sharpening jig. It's a one-way Wolverine jig. I have links to that in my videos in the description, and that also will take you to uh, Amazon, where I found it was cheaper. You can obviously shop for it, but if you decide to buy it off Amazon, please use my links because that does also support me with no cost to you. So I appreciate that. Um, okay, let's see. Do you use, okay. Um, and I, and I learned, unfortunately, uh, Brendan Stemp, he's from Australia, and he no longer has a wood turning channel. He took all his videos down, but that's who I learned to do all of my sharpening, and he showed you how to actually, 
um, sharpened by hand and by hand on the grinder. So he taught you how to look for the metal rolling over the edge and all that stuff. So that's how I learned to sharpen at first because I didn't have a grinder or anything for several months. I sharpened by hand with a diamond plate and then I got the, um, it was a six inch grinder with those uh, aluminum wheels or whatever they're called. Alumit, I don't know, I don't even know how to pronounce it. So yeah, I, uh, I started out with very, you know, not the best, and I still don't have the best stuff, but, you know, you do the best with what you got, and that's what I did. I just learned, I adapted and, and learned to deal with it, to do it. Uh, you're so very welcome, Gavin. Turn flies. Oh, you're going to make me cry. Don't make me cry. <laughs> Uh, yes, the day was where we started turning about 10 years ago, two turners. So, yes. Wow. That's a lot of money. Found it to hide one's light user under visual. Sorby's sharpening kits. I, I, I don't... John, I'm sorry, I don't know what that is. Uh... I'm, I've never used them before. Are you talking about like diamond plates or something? I just got my diamond plates from Harbor Freight and, and that's what I used for hand sharpening. Okay, so I am going to like stop talking because I could talk forever. And anybody else have any last minute questions, whatever, before we go bye bye? Howdy. Sorry, I'm looking down here because that's where my comment things that <clears throat> da, da, da. Um, is there a question I missed if so please pop up there if not yeah the bowls are real fun I did paint pour on a bowl thank you so much Kevin what's coming next um uh, oh my next video for this coming Thursday night will be a chalk paint bowl. Um, I bought some chalk paint. You guys probably seen the ads on Facebook, Instagram like crazy from the milk paint company. Um, I went for it, bought a couple samples, of course, in you know, my favorite colors and uh, tried their chalk paints. And I also ordered their samples of their oils that they offer, which uh, pure tongue oil is food safe. So this bowl will be food safe. And this bowl is actually going to be in a giveaway for Blue Line Turnings. If you don't follow him, go over to Instagram and give him a follow. He is in the comments, so you can click on him and find out his information and all of that because I don't have, you know, I'm, I'm ill prepared. So that will be a giveaway. He reached 3,000. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry that I don't know. Uh, he reached, hey, there's my dad. Say hi to my dad in the chat. <laughs> Anyways, hi, dad. Um, so it, Good night, Steven. Yeah, so go check out Blue Line Turnings. He's doing a giveaway. That bowl will be on this Thursday. If it, I'm using tongue oil. On tongue oil, you have to put one coat on a day if you guys use it. It's the most impatient finish for me. I don't like using it. Yes, 3,000 3, followers. Thank you for correcting me. I'm blonde, so, you know, my brain. If you ever want tips on paint pouring, let me know. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Thank you, John. I appreciate that. Um, I, I will do that, you know, in the future. I'm, I'm kind of, I apologize, I'm kind of one of those people who get inspired and I just like learn the hard way every way. And it's not until I really get stuck is whenever I ask questions. So it may, I may have to do a lot of, a lot of fails before I contact you. Although with Doug, I uh, contact him quite a bit about resin. So um, I'll eventually learn. I'll eventually learn to just ask, but um, that's just how stubborn I am. I don't ask for help. Yes, congratulations, Blue Line. I've got 3,000 followers. So that's, yeah, coming week, chalk paint. Um, so it's really easy and it's, and it's really nice. And it's also on a piece of magnolia as well. Let's see. All right. Any more questions? I don't want to cut off before anybody has a question. I don't want to cut out and then someone asks me something. <laughs> Good night, Gavin. I really appreciate you. 
Aw, uh, thank you, Melvin, for following Blue Line. I appreciate that. He has some amazing stuff. All you guys, all you guys are amazing. Managed to smoke through and wow. An hour, a whole, I've been on here. Well, that doesn't. Yeah. Yeah, my husband's setting the table right now and he's cooking some chicken. Chicken. He's still got his face covered, walking around the house. All right, hold on, I have to show you. <laughs> got his face covered <laughs> while he's cooking dinner. What a dork. All right, I'm going to turn this around. We'll take another good look at it because it's moved a little bit uh, since we've, since we started. So we'll, we'll, um, here, let me see my comments. Have a good night, y'all. Good night, Kevin. Sorry, I'm being a little bobbly because I'm trying to read the comments at the same time. Yeah, so it's moved a little bit since I've been chit-chatting. Not bad. Not bad. I'm going to get my finger out of the way. Sorry. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That is too... Yeah, on the chuck is pretty too. Well, I, I did tape it. I did tape it up to protect it. So, you know, good night, Doug. I'll see you in Hangouts in a bit. I'll harass you there. Okay, everybody. I no more questions that I can tell. So, um, yeah. So, I'll let everybody go back to their normal operating procedure. Oh, look at my husband back there cooking. <laughs> Anyways, I really appreciate everybody for joining me for this live, especially last minute. And hopefully, it is doing what it's intended to do is to inspire y'all to go out and just try stuff. You can do the same thing with acrylic paints from Walmart that are 50 cents for the same size. Just water them down a little bit or get the flow trawl, whatever you want to invest. Get an ugly chunk of piece of wood and just go get some El Cheapo paints, add a little bit of water to them, maybe even throw some dish soap in there so that we can get those cells, see if that works. Experiment. Go and watch some paint pour videos, even if it's on flat canvas. You'll get an idea of what it is that they're doing, how they're doing it, and then you can just think of ways to apply it to what it is that you're doing. But, you know, even with this curve going down here, it sloped just fine. Make sure you paint your piece first. So that helps the paint give something to flow on so it doesn't get caught up. You know, especially on wood, you want a little smoother uh, surface. I only put one coat of black paint on before I poured, so it apparently doesn't need much. Um... Yeah, thanks for coming out and watching. I really appreciate every single one of you, all your kind words and your comments. And go out and experiment. Have fun. And I will let y'all uh, get on with it so I can get on with it and eat some food. So take care, everybody. Have a wonderful, blessed weekend. Take care and God bless. Now i got to figure out how to close this out. It's going to be awkward. Yeah, okay, yes, I'm still here smiling because I'm like,